Good evening, folks. I'm back in here again with another script, and it's called Male and Female Narcissus. Uh, create an atmosphere of uncertainty. Male and female narcissists are always putting us in the position that we don't know what they're going to do next. Their pattern of abuse puts us at an all-time low situation. It puts us in a position of the fight and flight mode. With the narcissists, our lives are not stable. Narcissists are like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Their mood can change in seconds and they can become highly dangerous. And we never know when they're gonna change their mood, leaving them unpredictable. Living in the cycle of abuse is the roughest life anyone could live. A person never knows when they are going to be physically abused by the narcissist, leaving us to be a physical and mental wreck so our health starts to diminish. Yes, folks, this is what narcissists can do to you. Uh, they can leave you a physical and mental wreck because you never know what mood the narcissist is going to be in from one minute to the next. They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They change their personality uh, from time to time on the highs or the lows. And so that makes them very unpredictable, folks. That's why it's hard to live in a narcissistic relationship because of this, folks. And especially if you have children, because you never know if the narcissist is going to turn into Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at any time in front of your children. And if the narcissist is going to, you worry that the narcissist is going to abuse you in front of your children and you don't want that for them. And also it puts the children in a bad position too, folks, because if they're there at that time, uh, the narcissist is going to probably uh, emotionally abuse the child if they intervene in on the abuse pattern. Um, the cycle of abuse, folks, that's no fun. You, uh, It's hard to function in life when you're trying to go through the cycle of abuse with the male and female narcissist because you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what the next move that they're planning on you or anything. So uh, they just make our lives miserable in every way, folks, emotionally, physically, mentally. And by the time they're done with you, folks, you're completely drained. You get to thinking about it and you think to yourself how happy you used to be before the narcissist came along. Well, when the narcissist comes along, folks, they, they take all this away from you and they cause you to have an atmosphere of uncertainty. Yep, that's what they do, folks. Uh, well, I'm glad that I came in here today and I got a chance to say hi to you once again. And I hope everyone's doing fine, folks. Um, but yeah, this is how narcissists are, folks. They'll, uh, they're very unpredictable. Uh, they, they just put you in different positions of, to where you don't know uh, what to do next or anything until you decide to get away from this pattern, folks. Because we all know that the narcissist lives on a hamster wheel going around and around. And we're normal people and we don't want to stay in that pattern. So we want to be happy and be able to be stable and have a nice place to live to where we don't have to listen to the narcissist's ups and downs. Because, folks, if you live with the narcissist, you're going to see patterns of abuse in there in ways that you probably have never seen before. Uh, and in healthy relationships, they don't do that. 
uh, you're able to live your life happy with a regular relationship, folks, a normal one. Uh, but with these narcissists, you can't do that. You have to constantly stay on fight and flight mode to survive. Um, they get highly dangerous sometimes, and you never know if it's going to put you in a, a fatal position or what it's going to do, folks. So just remember this. Uh, it creates an atmosphere of uncertainty for you and your children, folks. And you always have to worry about your children uh, being there in that abusive pattern as well because you don't know if the narcissist is going to turn into Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and physically abuse one of your children. You know that this is going to be a dangerous pattern for the children and they really shouldn't be put through this, folks, because children, if they're young enough, they don't really understand this behavior coming from their narcissistic parent. And um, the best thing for a person to do would be to uh, get out of this abusive pattern and take your children to go somewhere where it's safe because that narcissist is not going to make sure that you're safe. And... Um, they can be abusive physically and mentally both to you and your children and abusive to you folks if you don't have children they can just be abusive to you alone in every way and when i say in every way i mean they'll use the emotional abuse the physical abuse uh and you know jerk us all the way down to the bottom of the barrel and we will be so depressed folks that we won't even be able to motivate in our lives and we don't want to live that kind of life folks we want a stable atmosphere for us and our children folks and that's the only way that children's going to be able to thrive is if you take the children and go somewhere of safety for you and your children uh, because the narcissist is not going to change they have no love for their children and the children will not be treated as a healthy child it'll be expected to live in the abusive pattern with the the narcissist and the narcissist will be dictating yours and your children's lives folks so, you know, that's not going to be a very good situation because if you raise your child with a narcissist, they're not going to let go of those children even when they're grown up, folks. They're still going to try to hang on to that child and keep them under their thumb, so to speak, because uh, that's just the way they are. They don't want the child to have no independence, no voice, uh, no um, opinion. Children just have to remain silent and go by what the narcissist tells them to do. Because if they don't, then the narcissist receives narcissistic injury. And this is when he's going to get highly dangerous, folks. So just think about this now. Uh, I'm hoping that these scripts are very helpful, folks. And I'm hoping that you're having a nice evening and a blessed evening. And I want to thank you for joining our community and our YouTube channel. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and a good day, too. Thank you for joining my YouTube channel and thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are awesome and you got this, folks. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.